What's happening, fam? LA, y'all moving, still moving. Oh, this blog is going to be why America hates black men. That's the blog. I'm sorry. Um, he, people always bring up, you know, our swagger and swagger and the way we walk and we playing ball and all of that. And, uh, it's not, this it's, is part of it, but it's not the real, I don't think it's the real root of why the hate comes. Because I don't even think people look at it. The hate comes from wanting to be superior to us just by, from um, religion and slavery. And that's just a build up hatred because you want to feel like you're better than somebody. But the problem, what, what goes with that is people wanted to be better than us when emulating us with our stuff. And you can never totally, um, you're gonna always hate the person you're trying to replace, is what I'm getting at. And these are the reasons I'm saying this. Nation building was an African thing. The way Egypt did it. That's kind of a template for the way that everybody else built their nation in all aspects, you know, not just the communities, the agriculture, the culture itself, religion, all of that is intertwined with that. Now to take that and steal it and try to repackage it and sell it back to me, and at the same time have to look at me in my face and try to sell me myself, you're gonna resent me because I'm gonna still be like, you really ain't really, you know, right, sure, buddy. Go with that. Another reason is because in America, this is a nation built off of free labor, off of a black back. First off of an Indian back, then they die, they were dying, and then the black back. And then the railroads, it was a Chinese back, but it was for pay. And then it was child labor and unequal pay with women. And, and so now we got the society we got now, but everything was the foundations of some of the, we, we think of the greatest things in our society were actually built on the work of a black back. Yeah, and people and people who hate, people, the same people who feel like they're better than black men because of these things are the same people that wanna be black men. And they, and they gonna get hella mad by me saying this, cause think about it. If a racist guy tells me I'm a nigga six days out the week and then goes to church on Sundays and, wear, and he wears a cross on his neck and he, he's claiming he loves Jesus, Jesus was a black man. So how the hell are you gonna hate me all week long and say you worship the son of God who got hands and a face this color? It's, 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 it's crazy. Past that, you look at Wall Street. Wall Street is supposed to be the greatest form to, to get wealth in America, right? Wall Street was invented. It's named for selling slaves. That's what Wall Street was. That's its foundation. Our industrial age was paid off of a slavery. That's the truth. A lot of um, white um, billionaires and billionaire families either have roots in slavery a lot of times, or roots in crime, or roots in stealing uh, black inventors' inventions because they could use the, present, the prejudice and the racism of the time and the muscle to take credit for everything, get paid for everything. That's why, in a sense, we have a society that doesn't respect anything because we, because for the most part, I hate to say it like this, but for the most part, white America is not used to fair labor. Used to working, but not fair labor. You get what I'm saying? People don't respect money that they don't earn. That's why they don't respect this country because they never earned it. They took it. It is what it is. Same thing, and we, we translate to that, that to the music and to the sports, but when the nation building itself was stolen from Africans, the, the, the way the nation was built was built by Africans, i.e. You know, African Americans now, then who's the, and I'm the bad guy. Because I'm the reminder that everything you got is not with your own hands. 
See, when they tell you, we, we, we America, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Well, this country never pulled itself up by its bootstraps. It had somebody else put the boots on, put the straps on, tie them on, and work for the boots in clothes that somebody else wore. That goes for a lot of things in this country. You, you think about it. Think about the mythical, just like Barack Obama being president. Think about the simple, the simplistic part of this. How is it that every time something goes ape shit seriously wrong, white America turns to a black man, either to save them or to be the scapegoat? Why do you think they have all these mythical Negro characters in these movies? Why do you think he was he became the president in the first place? Why do you think that athletically and entertainment-wise, we're always propped up so high? Because we create movements that are so big. We created movements, we created movements in this country that were stolen and used by other groups, and they want to take credit for them. You get what I'm saying? So that's the issue. It's just like, and for the ladies out there, I'm not trying to, you know, it's just like feminism. Like, most men don't have a problem with feminism. Most men have a problem with women who hate men who fall under the umbrella of feminism because most of them women wanted to be this whole time were men. And it's the same exact thing over again. You get what I'm saying? Same thing when people say, I don't like, people don't like old people back, like they didn't like old people, they used to discard them. But you need those old people for that wisdom. But, you, but what you wanted from the old people was that wisdom. You just didn't want the age to do it. So you wanted to be something that you couldn't be in your natural state at that time, so you hate it. That's where hating comes from. That's why when people say they're hating, why are they hating? they hating because they're not what they're hating. You know what I'm saying? I hate Kobe, but I can't play basketball. It's the only reason I'm hating because I can't play like Kobe. Yeah, I say. I still don't like your ass, though. <laughs> but that's the gist of it. Like, you got, that, that, that goes for the entertainment stuff and the swagger stuff and the sexual power stuff and all that other stuff. Think of, this, this, this is how you know and you don't have to think about it. Remember, I used to watch BET. We used to have these Extends Pills commercial with the white guy on it at night. Why would we need to have a commercial on BET about a white guy needing a bigger dick? Ain't no question. We ain't finna call you. We black. I'm, 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 I'm good. But you gotta make the illusion. You gotta want something. We ain't never said we wanted to, black men never said they wanted to be white men. They never wanted to be in a position of white men. Because white men have a terrible position to be in. It's a terrible position when you feel, when you're in a position of power and your power was never attained with your own um, work. So you gotta manipulate constantly and constantly. That's why our society is the way it is to this day. Because the work is not part of our society. It's not part of white society, to, to be perfectly honest. That's why all these paper transactions, that's why everything is made in another country now. Because the society was built on people getting out of doing actual labor. So now we have trouble to make people do actual labor. That's why, you know what I'm saying, I work outside. Not, I see people who work in buildings all the time. Oh, it's too high. Oh, it's too cold. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, oh. It's work. You know, you, you don't work, you don't eat. Shut the fuck up. I'm using my brain. So it makes me a better, smarter than you because I make money by using my brain. Well, you can draw a building out and use your brain and be the brains behind the way the building looks. No way it's gonna be all, it's gonna be built. But somebody gonna have to build it. And if you ain't willing to build it, you just a fucking you might well just draw something and put it in an art museum. It takes work. And real men know what I'm talking about. And this real men of any race. Real men know what I'm talking about. It takes work. You want you want you want to have something, you want to maintain something, it takes labor. That's why they call that shit labor when women doing it, because that's some work. 
pushing a big ass body out of your body. That's work, baby. Work. And black men are known for putting in work. So, so much to the point where, look at it, when we put in work, people want us to do it for cheap prices. And when other people put in work, it's such a hassle that they need to overvalue their actual work. So what it is. That's how the country grew, man. Well, feel me or don't feel me. You feel me? Bye.